Hello, I'm Georgina Key and I run the Ornamentals Research Programme for AHDB. I'm here at Baggington Nurseries in Warwickshire which hosts the Bedding and Pot Plant Centre. The centre was set up with two aims in mind. The first was to aid product development and the second was to find practical solutions to day-to-day -day problems that the sector faces. The reason chemical growth regulation is an issue for the industry at the moment is that there is uh, increasing restrictions on the use of chemicals such as Stavalan, Clormaquat and potential restrictions on the use of products such as Bonsai. Uh, there are new products available but the label rates can be too high for bedding plant species and run the risk of damage or over-regulation. We need programmes that possibly use multiple actives to give us programmes for all season on control. Um, a lot of bedding plants are grown with the use of PGRs and the use of many of them is gradually being revoked. Mm -hmm. So we need to look at um, not only new and novel PGRs but also ways of growing that uh, perhaps don't involve PGRs. As some of the products that we're currently using are revoked then we'll really have to make some quite firm decisions as to which way we go and uh, obviously the evidence from the research work is going to inform our decision as to which way we go and which, which products are going to be the best for the, the specific species that we're trying to control. The PGR trials at the Bedding Pot Plant Centre are really important for the industry because growers have been very slow to take up the application of new growth regulators such as Turpol and Regalis. Why has this been? Well, there's, the re reason is there's always a risk of new, uh, damage with new growth regulators. So every grower will therefore want to conduct widespread trials before they uptake a new uh, growth regulator and they'll, need, they'll want to have some idea of initial timings and rates and the potential risks and damage, risk of damage. The aim of these trials therefore is to initial an initial screening uh, in a structured experimental way to give a basis for uh, initial work on nurseries. We've undertaken two trials with PGRs, one looking at a range of products applied post-transplant onto a range of bedding plants and the other applied to plants prior to transplant while they're still at the plug stage. Some of the products have performed better than others. It depends on the plant species because each species will react differently to the various um, active ingredients in the PGRs that we've used. So we're getting different effects. So where we've looked at different rates, we've applied as sprays, we've applied as drenches, we've cut back the rates on some of the products that we've applied, looked at previously to see if we can reduce the amount of phytotoxicity that we're getting and we've achieved that for some products. For other products we've not managed to find the bottom level where you don't get any phytotoxicity but you do still get some growth control and that's the point that we're aiming to find. So one of the most promising products that we've got is Turple. Now in previous trials we've found that applying that as a drench it can be very strong but we found this time that we're getting some good effects on geraniums for instance where we're getting some good growth control as a spray at the um, half rate and the quarter rate. So Regalis Plus is showing some promise on the geraniums but when it's applied to the plugs prior to transplant as a drench and there we're finding some good control with no phytotoxicity to date. Dianthus is a plant that growers find very difficult to control the height of with the products they have at the moment. But we found last year that the coded product gave us some good height control when applied as a spray. And we found pirouette is good when applied at the plug stage, so that's prior to transplant. And there we're getting good even plants, flowering at a low height and with no phytotoxicity. Visiting the pot plant and bedding centre and viewing the uh, current uh, PGR work which is on display gives us a great insight into the, the future and the available products which we can now try. One trial that caught my eye which was the turple spray on pel pelagoniums which definitely had a, a good response to those. Uh, it's something I can take back to our own nursery yeah. and hopefully this will give us better control on our bedding geranium crop. Thank you.